Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Maven tutorial series. So till now we have covered about uh, uh, course introduction and the software that are required for running the Maven projects on your PC. All right. So for this video, uh, I will be discussing about Maven lifecycle and basic Maven commands. Uh, so these are the commands that you must know to uh, work with the Maven project and the how actually the Maven life cycles means how the projects that is being you built using Maven works or throughout its life cycle okay uh, right from the uh, validation and till the deployment point okay we will cover all the points over here uh, okay so Maven is a uh, quick int introduction for those who haven't seen uh, previous videos uh, Maven is a powerful project management tool that is based on POM that is project object model uh, used for project build, dependencies and documentation. It is a tool that can be f used for building and managing any Java projects. Okay, and Maven makes uh, the day-to-day -day work of Java developers easier and help with the building and running of any Java based projects. So if you are trying to build any uh, project that uses Java, then you can go for the Maven. It will uh, quickly do your uh, all the tasks of managing those dependencies, building the project and documentation part. Okay, and so let's go and see one by one uh, each point. So first point comes is uh, the default Maven lifecycle consists eight major steps or phases for compiling, testing, building and installing a given Java project as specified below. So these are the eight steps. First is validate, compile, test, package, integration test, verify, install and then deploy okay so first is validate in this step uh, it validates the project if the project structure is correct for example it checks if all the dependencies have been downloaded and are available in the local repository so we'll see uh, what is local repository and uh, repository and what is the pom.xml file uh, so we'll have a separate video on pom.xml file will where wherein we'll be discussing all each and every uh, tags of, uh, of of that xml file and in detail we see how how the pom.xml is important in maven okay so next is compile uh, it compiles the source code and converts the java uh, dot java files to dot class files so uh, since we are uh, using the java programming language to build our project so there there, there must be a java, dot java files that you create for your project so that those java, dot java files need to be converted into the dot class file that is the byte code uh, which is machine understandable code uh, the java converts jvm converts to be uh, more precise and it and it stores the classes in the target slash classes folder so this is the folder where uh, all those dot java files are converted into the dot class files and got stored in the target and then uh, inside target folder there, there is a classes directory uh, where it stores okay so next is the test it it runs unit test for the project so you def uh, at this phase uh, it will run the unit test that you have defined for your project and we'll see uh, how to define it and how to use it and how to run it okay so package this this step packages the compiled code and in a distributable format like jar and or jar or war so it converts the uh, that code into the distribu distributable format like jar and war okay so integration testing uh, it runs the integration test for the project uh, we'll see how uh, it runs the integration testing also and where uh, the next step is verify this step runs checks to verify that the project is valid and meets the quality quality standards so the quality standards are being checked in the verification step and then comes the installation step this step installs the package code to the local maven repository there is a look uh, there is one local maven repository where all this uh, packaged code is being installed over there okay and then is next deploy it copies the packaged code to the remote repository for sharing with it with, with other developers so you uh, last comes the deployment phase uh, where it converts the code to the pack uh, it copies the package code to the remote remote repository uh, by using which you can share that uh, share it with other developers which are there in your team or company okay so uh, these are some uh, maven life cycle build life cycles uh, and then comes we'll see how some ma basic maven commands 
okay so first come the mvn clean okay it cleans the project and removes all files generated by the previous build so uh, when you do perform one build uh, it creates that uh, folder and when when you again do some changes and we are uh, you again uh, build that project uh, again install that project then it, it again creates that those folders again so you using mv and clean it cleans the project and removes all those previous build build files okay so and and mv and compile it compiles the source code of the project again M, mv and test compile it compiles the test source code MVN test run the test for the project uh, that those are defined and MVN package uh, creates the jar uh, or warp file for the project and to convert it into the distributable format as we discussed above and MVN install uh, deploys the package jar file to the local repository and MVN site generate the project documentation uh, so next is MVN validate validate the project's form and, con and configuration so as I told as I told you, pom file uh, pom.xml file is the very important file for the Maven projects. Again, we see in depth with one separate video. So stay tuned. So MVN uh, idea uh, colon idea colon generate project uh, it gener generates the project files for the IntelliJ idea or Eclipse. So if you are using any IDE uh, that is IntelliJ idea or Eclipse, any one of this, so you can use this command. All right. So MVN release uh, perform performs the release build. Okay, and MVN last come MVN deploy. It copies the package jar war war files to the remote repository after compiling, running, and test and building the project. Okay, and so uh, so this is the uh, command that we write MVN clean install. Uh, and uh, why we write clean because uh, it uh, by using this clean uh, we can remove all those previous build files and it will remove all those uh, files which are uh, came from the previous build it will delete and creates the new uh, uh, files for the new build okay so this is the idea behind uh, the maven life cycle and maven basic maven commands so in our upcoming video we will see uh, uh, we'll start working with the maven actually and st start start creating a project or basic project just to understand and just to give you clear idea or how Maven works, we will start working on a project from the next video. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.